In real life, were you not an actor, would you rather be a police officer or a gas attendant? Oh, jeez. Wow, that's a tough question. Oh, there's a part of me that would like to be a police officer, but I'm a bit scared of those situations. I don't think I would want to be like running into like a like an abandoned house, like looking for a burglar or something like that. So I guess I'm going to go with gas station attendant. <laughs> oh, can't be a truck driver? Okay. Geez, that's tough. Uh, gas station attendant, they're probably both as dangerous. Mm -hmm. I remember, remember you get robbed a lot, right? Uh, police officer, if, if, if I got a dog, if I was like in the dog squad. I'd do either one as long as I got to play rugby. Go Condors. Gas station attendant. Oh, God, I wouldn't be a police officer for all the money in the world. No way. Yeah, no. I'm a wimp. I'd hear a, pyre, a tire pop and I'd hit the dirt. I said, no. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would be a gas jockey or jockette. That's what I would be. Gas station attendant, for sure. No question about it. Why? Well, a number of reasons. First of all, you're not out there, uh, you know, locking horns with bad guys. That seems like a dangerous way to make a buck. I'm glad somebody's doing it, but I don't think I'm cut out for that. I could see myself curling up and hiding in the trunk a lot if I was a cop. Um, so I enjoy hanging out at a gas station. There's snacks, readily available snacks. There's a lot of pros to, to doing the gas station thing. Was there a difficult scene to do in the movie that stands out for you? Well, I can't really give anything away. I think, you know what, the whole thing, being pregnant, <laughs> seven months pregnant in a police uniform in Saskatchewan, I think it's just uh, an accomplishment in itself. And that was, it was, it was trying at times, you know, it was tough, but it, I was, I feel like I was a trooper, you know. Thankfully, I didn't have to ride a horse. And in the original script, I was riding a horse, so that would have been the most difficult scene to do pregnant. But luckily, we have a female producer who was like, no. I also said I wasn't going to ask who are you wearing, but you both look really sharp, and my friend kind of dared me to ask it. Okay. So uh, it's not very Canadian. Like uh, I'm, a, I'm not embarrassed to say I went to Moore's and they set me up with some stuff. Very I dig nice. it, Joseph Abu. Yeah, Canadian designer. Yeah, if you want anybody to be your spokesperson, I'd be happy to take a few bills for that. Yourself, Lauren? Uh, some uh, crushed uh, velvet velour blazer, smoking jacket uh, by some Italian guy. Um, not quite sure who it is, but uh, yeah, I like it. Your character loves chili cheese dogs. Do you yourself love chili cheese dogs? Y yeah, it would be silly of me to write in something I didn't like. That would be foolish. I, I wrote them in specifically because I thought, you know, this would be a good way to have extra chili cheese dogs for the course of my week. And, uh, and get paid for it. And legitimately, you know, I have to do this for work. I love a chili cheese dog. It's nature's most perfect food. Who, who is the Woolerton to Moose Jaws Dog River? Oh, you're going to cause problems on in the media? That's not fair. Now, my reason for being here tonight is uh, Moose Jaw is a neighbor of Dog River, but we are outside the range of the Woolerton area. So we're fine. Who, who would be the Woolerton if Regina were Dog River? Saskatoon? I don't know. No, Moose Jaw, I think. Moose Jaw, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh now I'm in trouble. Uh, anything else you want to tell us? Let's get back to the go see the movie thing. We're December 3rd to 7th in your local movie house. Go see Corner Gas, the movie. Or, it's, or your life's going to be full of regret after that. <laughs> there, I've, I've warned you. I've done all I can do.